What's up, everyone? Um, today I'm going to be going over my survival wallet. So first, starting off with the wallet is just going over the wallet I got. <laughs> got from uh, got down in Mount Gambia. It's a level wallet, really nice, very good. It's a new wallet. The old wallet was uh. It was just card pockets, this one I got because I carry so much loose change all the time, and I need a coin pocket. But yeah, so I'll be going over what I have kept in the survival wallet. So from the outside it looks completely plain, it looks like a wallet without any cards, without any, uh, you know, without any money in it. I took my cards out so they can't be copied before making this video because I know I was going to be making this video. Yeah. Okay, let's start off on this side. Just my parent. Okay. First, we've got band aid. Need more band aids. This is the first aid section of it. We've got a method of making fire in the form of matches with a striker in a waterproof bag. And that's everything on that side. Now if I can just get my hand under there. We have a Ziploc bag. That's a water container. Container. This looks like it's sharp, but as you can see, it's not sharp. It is a knife blade. It's a sharp knife blade, but it has a uh, tape over the top of it. Then in here, in with the water container, we have one more purification, water purification tablet. Good. God damn it. Where's the other one? We have two water purification tablets. See, two water purification tablets. Let's see the final item. The, my flint and steel striker, which is a Credit card, multi-tool, strikes my flint, and it just has a few extra tools. So, as you can see, this is not the be-all and end-all of all survival kits, you know. It's not something you're going to run off into the woods and spend months in the woods, but just in case of you getting lost, you know, or maybe... Obviously, to make it aeroplane approved, you just have to take out the knife blade, and voila, look, a fully workable, accessible kit for your aero, aero travel. Well, see? It's a fully accessible kit. It is, see, because that's not legal, because it has no cutting edge on it. The knife blade would have been illegal to keep in there for the kit. The matches are not illegal neither. So, pretty much all these items here, if removing the knife blade obviously would become a airport safe travel kit. As you can see, little first aid kit. That's all the first aid materials that carry water. This holds up to a litre and one of these purifies one litre, so that is one layer a day. Okay, so that's two days worth of purification before needing fire, so. And then as you can see, just in here I have just a bit of loose change. So I'm not afraid of showing this. You can see, just a handful of loose change see so that is everything from my EDC survival kit wallet I'll even put back in the knife blade so that's a wallet see that is literally everything from inside my EDC wallet my everyday carry wallet thank you for watching thank you for watching remember like, share and subscribe. 
go check out my twin Twitter and Instagram. Peace.